All right, so here in the Now You Try, we are going to solve for x first. So what I need to do is combine my like terms. I have a negative 5x and a positive 3x. So when I combine that, I get negative 2x. Okay, then I still have a negative 9 and a negative 7 that I can also come put together. Negative 9 and a negative 7 is a negative 16. Okay, then I'm getting x by itself. So first I need to move this negative 16. For me to move it, I always do the opposite. It's a minus 16. So I'm going to add 16 on both sides. Therefore, this side it's gone. I have negative 2x equals 9 plus 16 is 25. And then lastly, I need to get rid of this negative 2. It's negative 2 times x. So for me to get rid of, I'm going to do the opposite, which is divide by negative 2. Therefore, I get a final answer of x equals negative 25 over 2, which is choice D. Okay, now you try number 2. This time we're solving for y. So I need to get all my distributions first and then I can combine my like terms. So that 8y I can't do anything with, so I'm just going to write 8y. But then I can distribute this 4 in here. 4 times 1, I get a positive 4. 4 times y is a positive 4y equals, and I'm going to distribute this 3. 3 times y is 3y. 3 times negative 2 is a negative 6. And then I still have my plus 10y. Then I can combine my like terms. An 8y and a 4y gives me 12y. I still have my plus 4 equals a 3y and a 10y I can put together for 13y. And then my minus 6. My next step is to get my y's together. So I'm going to move this 12y. It's a positive 12y for me to move it. I'm going to subtract 12y on both sides. So this side it's gone. I have 4 equals 13y minus 12y is just a 1y. I still have minus 6. And the last thing I need to do is move this 6. It's a minus 6, so I'm going to just add 6 to both sides. Therefore, I'm going to get a final answer of y equals 6 plus 4, I get 10, which is choice A. Okay, number 3, we have fractions. So my first thing is to get a common denominator. And this time I have fractions all the way across. So I'm going to find a common denominator for all of them. I have a 3, I have a 2, and a 6. So the common denominator for all of them would be 6. I'm going to rewrite it with 6 underneath all of them. Okay, so in this first fraction, we have 3. For me to get 6, I need to multiply this top by 2. So I'm going to distribute. 2 times x is 2x. Two, 2 times 4 is 8. This one I had 2, but I wanted 6. So I need to multiply this one by 3. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. And this one already had the 6, so I didn't have to do anything to it. So now I'm going to combine these two fractions here into 1. So all I'm going to do is write it as one big fraction with a 6 underneath. So 2x plus 8 plus 3x minus 6. And then I still have equals 7 over 6. I can combine my like terms, a 2x and a 3x gives me 5x. An 8 and a negative 6, when I combine that I get a positive 2 over 6 equals 7 over 6. Alright, notice the bottoms are the same. We have 6 and 6. Now if the bottoms are the same, we can set the tops equal to each other. 5x plus 2 equals 7. And then we're just going to solve. So we need to move this 2. So I'm going to subtract a 2 because that's the opposite of addition. So I get 5x. This is gone. 7 minus 2 is 5. And lastly, I have 5 times x. So I'm going to divide by 5. Therefore, I get a final answer of 1, which is choice C. 
Okay, and the last one deals with fractions here. We have a 1.1x plus 2.1 equals 0.4x plus 1.89. So here there's nothing that I can do. I don't have to combine anything, but I do need to um, get my x's together. So it's a positive 0.4x, so I'm going to subtract 0.4x on both sides. So 1.1 minus a 0.4, I'm going to get 0.7. So I have 0.7x here. I still have plus 0.2.1. This side it's gone. I'm still left with 1.89. So again, I still need to get this x by itself. So before I can get to the x, I need to move this positive 2.1. So I'm going to subtract 2.1 on both sides. This side it's gone. I get 0.7x. Now 1.89 minus a 2.1 is going to give me a negative 0.21. Then I need to get x by itself. So I need to get rid of this 0.7. So it's 0.7 times x. So for me to get rid of it, I do the opposite. So I'm going to divide by 0.7. So negative 0.21 divided by 0.7 is going to give me a negative 0.7 as my final answer, which is choice A.